Let's find out what you're hiding, Miss Nora Smith. Justin had asked his team to track down a photograph of Cherry. He felt Nora was trying to hide her from him and needed to know why. However... Huh? Why couldn't they find a recent picture? Is Miss Smith trying to protect her daughter from something? As Justin was looking at Cherry's baby picture, a thought hit him. That's weird. She looks so much like Pete when he was a baby. I guess I'm reading too much into it. A lot of babies do look similar. Justin convinced himself and moved on with his work. Meanwhile, at the Smith house, Joel was speaking to his Uncle Ian. Uncle Ian, do you want me to get anything for you? No, Joel, I'm fine. Uncle Ian, you can't be this way. We need you. Please, let us help you come out of your misery. I know, Joel, but I, I don't know how to help myself. Please go about your life. Don't worry about me. <sighs> All right. Good night. Call us if you need anything. Ian picked up his tablet and logged on to a streaming app. It was how he passed his time ever since he got bedridden. Usually, he watched a few random videos and went to sleep. But that night, he was invested in a live game streaming. One of the gamers was an enthusiastic little girl who took funny jabs at her teammates. Chesty, what are you doing? I asked you to guard me and you were there shooting bombs at a wall. You do have peas for a brain. Yes, yes, sorry, leader. Ian couldn't stop laughing at the stream. He couldn't see the little girl's face, but she was more familiar than he realized because it was his ex fiance's granddaughter, Cherry, who was live streaming from the Anderson house. Chesty, come on, back me up. I'm right behind you, leader. Hey, why are my points so low? I've beaten down most of the enemies, and I should be on the leaderboard. Oh, that's because your fans are not tipping you enough. If they tip, your points will increase. Ugh, why is this so complicated? Guys, please give me some tips so that I can keep playing. It was Cherry's first time playing on a live stream, and she was still getting the hang of it. Her request urged some audience members to send her some tips, but it wasn't good enough. However, she made it to the top of the leaderboard in a few minutes as someone had tipped her $50,000. It was Ian Smith. Oh my god, you are on top, leader. Whoa, that was unexpected. Thank you for the huge tip, Mr. Sponsor. Ian grinned when Cherry thanked him and continued to watch the game. Back at the Hunt Mansion, Chester was interrupted during the game. What is with all the shouting? Can't you keep it to yourself, Chester? Just, Justin, I'm sorry. I'm just gaming. Justin rolled his eyes and turned to leave, but a familiar voice stopped him. Chesty, Chesty, where did you go? Wait a minute, who is that? Um, no one. Chester, don't make me take away your toys. Tell me the truth. Is that Pete? Okay, first of all, these are gaming equipment, not toys. And no, it is not Pete. It is Ch- <clears throat> My leader. Your leader is a child. Why, yes, she is awesome. You need to grow up. Justin left Chester's room and made a stop at Pete's room to check if he was gaming with Chester. But his son had his nose buried in one of his books. Like Chester had told him, the voice wasn't Pete's. I can swear that it sounded just like Pete. Wait. Didn't Chester call his leader she? Is it a little girl then? Let me check. Justin pulled out his phone and went on to Chester's live stream. Great, they have their videos off. Whoa, someone has given $50,000 to this little girl. I will never understand all of this. A disapproving Justin made his way back to his room and turned in for the night. Back at the Anderson's mansion, Nora made Cherry stop her game too. They had an early morning the next day. Oh, where are you two off to this morning? We have a school interview. Oh, that's good. Which school? I will tell you. It's Golden Sunshine International. I love the name. I'm so excited. Oh my, that school is very hard to get into. Only the children from creme de la creme families are accepted there. Are you sure it's a good option, Nora? Yes, I've researched a lot. They seem to have a well-rounded curriculum. Why, Aunt Melissa? Don't you think Cherry can get in? Oh, no, dear. That's not what I meant. Cherry is a smart kid. However, the school is a little snobbish. I even tried for my kids, Cheryl and Logan. They couldn't get in. Well, it has been quite some time since Cheryl and Logan were in school, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe the times have changed, and we think we have got a shot. Nora and Cherry took off as Melissa waved them by. She couldn't help but be worried. The school wouldn't take in students who weren't from influential families. The least they should have is a glowing reference from someone important, and Melissa was sure that Nora didn't have either. However, she was wrong. 
Cherry had the reference of Dr. Athena, who had saved the life of one of the school's board members. We are so glad that you chose to enroll your daughter in Golden Sunshine International. She can join classes as soon as the admission process is done and the fee is paid. Elated with the good news, Cherry and Nora made it back home from school. That was quick. Yeah, it didn't take much time. Oh, I'm sorry the interview didn't go well, Nora. We have tremendous schools around. We will pick the best one for Cherry from those. Oh, no, Aunt Melissa. Cherry got in. Huh. But how? You were gone for barely two hours. The interviews at that school are so grueling that they take almost half a day. But I didn't give an interview. They just took me in. What? Are you serious? How come? Yes, Aunt Melissa. I got a friend of mine to give Cherry a reference. Wait a minute. Did Justin Hunt give Cherry the reference? Um, yes, just uh, Mr. Hunt gave the reference. That's so kind of him. Though her aunt knew that Nora was a doctor, she didn't exactly know that she was the renowned Dr. Athena. And Nora wanted to keep it that way. So she took the first escape route, but just when she was about to call it a night, she was interrupted by a phone call from Justin. Hello, Mr. Hunt. What's up? How is Pete? Wow, she seems too comfortable talking to me. Hello, Miss Smith. Yes, Pete is fine. In fact, something is up. I received the strangest call from Melissa today. Oh? What did she say? Well, she thanked me for my recommendation of Cherry to the Golden Sunshine School. Now, I don't mind giving a reference, but I'd prefer to do it myself. That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lied. I couldn't tell her that- Dr. Athena was behind it? Well, yeah. That's all right, I get it. However, Melissa did invite me to lunch someday. I accepted. I'm not the one to break my commitments. So when shall I come? Why don't we do it tomorrow? Just you and me. Nora saw this as an opportunity to meet her son and just went for it. What about Melissa? I will get her out of this. It is my daughter you helped, anyway. All right then, it's a date. Mr. Hunt, I would love it if you could bring your son with you. Only if you bring your daughter. Like Nora, Justin also saw this as an opportunity to meet Cherry. Nora didn't expect Justin would make a counter request. Fine, I will bring her. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you can't play me, Justin Hunt. The next afternoon, Nora went to the restaurant Justin had picked out for their date alone. She didn't take Cherry with her. Ah, Miss Smith, it's good to see you. Um, where's your daughter? I'm sorry, she couldn't make it. She's in school. Where is Pete? Same, he has classes. Ah, oh, you sly, sly man. Two can play this game, Nora. From then on, their conversation was limited and they ate in silence. An hour into the date. Ugh, I'm bored, Mr. Hunt. Let's play a game, shall we? What game are you suggesting, Miss Smith? How about truth or dare? All right, shoot your question. I picked the truth. The duo had a hundred questions ready for each other. How deep and dark could this game of truth or dare between them go? To find out what happens next. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.